who is in fact is now my own Member of Parliament. During the same federal election campaign, I presented it to Ottawa Police Officer Abdul Abdi, who was running for the Conservatives in my own uh, riding of, of Ottawa Western Pier. As far as I know, he has since resumed his job with the Ottawa Police. Also, during the same election campaign, I presented to Jean-Luc Cook and all the other Green Party candidates here in Ottawa. Jean-Luc Cook was able to set up a meeting for me where all of them were present at once. Soon after that meeting, he put me in touch with James O'Grady, owner of the unpublished Ottawa news website. That led to me writing an online letter for them about SNC Leveller Incorporated and the corruption that they directed against me personally and then covered up for over 30 years because mainstream media refused to investigate when asked. <clears throat> the first item in the detailed information that I gave out to all the people who signed up beforehand is a redacted version of that online letter on unpublished Ottawa. If you now click on the same URL that I gave out before, you will see the unredacted version and also the unredacted version of all the other information that follows it. If I had mentioned SNC Lavalle Incorporated by name in any advance information about this event, I'm sure they would have tried to stop it, and I wasn't going to have it, period. Now they're stuck with it, and we'll have to put, put up with the consequences of trying to forever cover up corruption in business at my expense that they thought would always be supported by popular social prejudices and poor quality lawyers in Montreal, Quebec and elsewhere. They thought they would behave like little mafiosi and enforce a mafia type code of omerta at my expense. And who knows how many other people they've been treating like that. And who knows how many other big Canadian corporations are doing the same thing in order to cover up corrupt business practices. Example, Trans Canada Pipelines Incorporated <clears throat> and their treatment of Evan Fox. Tough for them and other like-minded people. Everyone will have to get used to it. I'd like to see a show of hands uh, of who in this room has heard of uh, Evan Vokes before, if anybody. No. No one? I'm not surprised. Uh, they've only, there's only been mention of him twice in the mainstream media on two occasions about two years apart, uh, on both occasions by the CBC. <coughs> so if you'd missed either or both of those, the odds are that you would never have heard of never have heard anything about what was going on. <clears throat> of course, there is much more to what's behind this event than just SNC Lavalin Incorporated, as we will see. Finally, MPP Yasir Nakfi was indicating some interest earlier this week, but I guess he couldn't make it. This is highly significant, because in 2012 he proposed some anti-slap legislation for Ontario. Since then, other people became involved, for instance, Madeleine Meilleur, and improvements made, with the final result, Bill C-52, becoming law in Ontario last November the 3rd. So as of November the 3rd last year, companies like SNC Leveline Incorporated, with essentially unlimited money to feed to corrupt lawyers for instigating frivolous lawsuits alleging libel, will find it difficult or impossible to try some such thing with me or anybody else looking to expose the corporate wrongdoing that some companies want covered up. And now for part one and my uh, Canada political presentation. This is, going, this, is going to, this is a PowerPoint presentation that I'm about to show you. It will be open in just a moment. <coughs> Oh, very good. Okay, now. Uh, that's a wait for my drink. I'm a little confused because this user interface is set up in French. What I want to do, of course, is open the slideshow. If you is have a keyboard, you, I think F5 will work. F5? Okay, oh, but try. you have to be on the presentation. Sorry. You're, no, you're not on the um, presentation. 
Just go to the button at the bottom there where the FR is at the bottom uh, right corner. Uh, on the screen there. Uh, on your screen. Near where the, the time is. Oh, yeah, FR, gosh, change it to, yes, uh, change it to English. Right. Yeah. English, okay. Yes, of course. Uh, maybe try reopening it now. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a French university, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but you're not a carton here. <laughs> <laughs>